Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. I'm going to be starting off this video by unboxing this package. This is from John in USA. So let's have a look what's in here. And so John's sent over this car for me to customize for him. And it is Hot Wheels Cool One. So that's going to be our video today. And we'll just keep going and see what else he's sent over. Oh, there's a Bogzilla. It's pretty cool. That is a June Daddy. Oh, that's pretty cool. Real riders and all. Volkswagen drag bus. That that's super cool. This is a Carmen. Oh, it's a Jada. Subaru Brat. Just uploading a video real customized one of these. And a Bronco. Got a few Broncos. I don't have one that's this colour. Nice speed up Mercedes. Find a windscreen for that. That is a uh, bot wheels. Looks pretty cool for some sort of post apocalyptic thing. Sci fi, perhaps. Ah, DC Comics Cyborg. Mini van. This one is doesn't doesn't actually say what that is on the bottom of it. I'll have to find out on the wiki later on. Another one that doesn't have a name on it. That's quite cool though. Plastic car, but I think with a decent paint job, it would look really neat. And a cool off-roader. What's this one? Another one where they haven't named it underneath, but again, with a decent paint job, that would look really good. And finally. The old Camaro. Okay, so let's crack on with our cool one custom. Okay, so we're back in my studio now. We've got our cool one on the turntable. These were first produced in 2004. And it's based on a modified ice cream van. So I'd been chatting to John and he 
seen over these cars, including this cool one to customize for him. And he actually wrote down a description of what he wanted, which I'll be honest, I must have only brushed over and <laughs> not really read. So this was the first custom that I did using the cool one that he sent over to me. So I've taken it apart there, stripping the paint off of the body, giving it a clean up with the wire brush on my Dremel. There it is looking nice and clean now. So this is a tuned vehicle. So they have sort of exaggerated features to them. Okay, so I've got some replacement wheels for this, but I'm just going to have to make the front wheel arches a little bit larger to accommodate them. And I'm also putting slightly smaller wheels on the rear. So I'm just file the base down a bit here. And here are the replacement wheels in place. The rear wheels don't quite fill up those arches now, so I'll add some guards. And I've also chopped out the front rivet post. So this car didn't have real windscreens, it's got those big chunky plastic pieces there. So I'm going to cut those off. Next I strip off the chrome with some hot water and caustic soda. And here I've used some epoxy putty to build up a new dash. And there I've filed and sanded that down and also added a steering wheel. So there we go, it's got a proper cab. I use my pin vise and a little drill bit to hollow out the ends of the exhaust pipes a little bit. I'm going to add a couple of little windscreens later. So I just put some masking tape over the windscreens and then I can mark them out with some pencil. Use that as a guide to cut out my pieces for later on. So I just stick that onto some clear plastic and I'll cut those out later. So now time for some paint. I start out with some black primer and then I painted the van in white aluminium and I did a blue candy fade into purple in the rear there. Now about the only part of the brief that I did read properly was that he wanted this joker on the custom. So here I've printed out some decals. I also cut out the little skulls on the joker's hat and made some other decals for the sides out of them. And I've printed these on some clear decal paper and I can apply them to the casting. It's 
also some pinstriping on the rear and then I finish that with a couple of coats of clear back to my windscreen pieces I'll just cut those out with my craft knife and then I use some crystal clear to glue them into place inside the cab Here's the base section and the rear doors. This was also hit with the black primer and then the white aluminium. And I mask off and candied the rear doors. The interior was hit with black primer. And then it was painted silver and detailed the cab a little bit in black. Then I'm just adding some metallic blue to the ends of the pipes there. And then I fixed all that with some clear coat. Here's the scoops, they were painted silver. And here are all the parts of our first custom cool one, repainted and ready to go back together. And we'll just take a quick look back at what we started with. Here is our first cool one sent all the way from America by John for a custom makeover a very ice cream themed paint job there I don't know where you're supposed to serve any ice cream from and here is the finished van I think it's looking a lot cooler now in that silver and blue candy fade Got the skull decals on the sides there. It's got nice new aftermarket wheels. They've got metal rims on them. I think the stance is a bit nicer. It's not so extreme now. So, anyway, I took a few photos and sent them to John, and he rightly pointed out that I hadn't done what he wanted on the brief at all, really. So I went back and actually read it and thought I better start again. So here's another cool one that I managed to find online pretty quickly. I've drilled out the posts there and take it apart. See this is a different color scheme. Pretty similarly ice cream themed though. Okay here it is after I've stripped the paint off it, chopped out that front post again, I've stripped the chrome off of the base and the interior there. So one of the things that John wanted on the brief was a door on the right hand side. So I use a bit of masking tape to rough out the general shape of the door and then I cut that out of some styrene sheet I think it's about a millimeter thick maybe a bit thicker than that then I cut that out and here's the door I fabricated I had to put a angle on it it's kind of an odd shape so here it is in place on the van. Again, I used some epoxy putty to add a new dash there. Here it is after I've added the steering wheel a little bit more detail there okay now time for some paint now he wanted the van to be black 
here's the jester's head joker's head printed out on some paper I'm going to sand it down so that it's a bit thinner, especially around the edges. I use some glue to apply it onto the top of the van. some thin down black paint just to tidy up around the edges so you don't see the white to start some chipping effects I start out with some silver patches here and there where I want the chipping to be it's kind of hard to make rust pop on black so I'm starting with the silver base. And then I add a little bit of rust over these silver patches. And finally, I brushed the whole thing over with some rust weathering powder, focusing on the lines of the vehicle. And hopefully this will help to give it a more grubby, sort of faded look. Here are some Mortician's Incorporated signs that I've printed out on some paper. Now I've glued them on to some styrene sheet. Kind of cut them out. And then these were glued onto the side of the van. And you can see I've glued in some windscreens there as well. Here's the rear doors and the base. So it's the opposite masking this time, keeping the rear doors black and then painting the base in silver. And then that was given the chipping. And here are the scoops. These were painted silver and then weathered with some metallic red and metallic blue to give them a sort of a heat effect. And here are the rims. Adding a bit of rust and black wash to those. To make them look more distressed. And here are all our pieces for a second time. Hopefully I'm a bit more on track. Again, while I'm reassembling that, we'll just take a quick look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here's our second cool one. Different paint scheme. It's actually pretty hideous with the blue scoops on the top of it there in my opinion and here it is after our morticians incorporated makeover so hopefully this is a bit more in keeping with the brief that i had you can let me know which cool one van you like the best in the comments down below before I go, I'll just throw a massive thanks out to John for commissioning the job and sending over the cars that he did. Thanks heaps, mate. I really hope you like the build. Thanks heaps to my awesome Patreon supporters for helping to support the channel. Check out the link below if you want to help out as well. And thanks heaps to you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more similar content.